baby. Hey everybody. Welcome back to Garrett's Garage. I'm so happy that the Porsche passed smog. Uh, that makes me so happy. That makes me want to go ahead and finish this uh, beautiful painting we started. And uh, back to painting uh, that Porsche 911 a uh, lovely thing that I started in the last video and uh, see if I can make it better. It wasn't looking that good. I just wasn't, I wasn't feeling it when I was painting it last time. And so I stopped. That's why I did two real short sessions and just wasn't, wasn't feeling it. So hopefully uh, this afternoon I'll be feeling it and make some progress. Here comes the time lapse. I'm going to restart the time lapse from the very beginning so in case you didn't watch the beginning of the painting in a different video uh, it, the part I'm repeating from a different video is only about I think about 30 seconds and then it'll get into whatever I'm doing today That was two 15-minute sessions from yesterday, and now we get into the today. Okay, that was about 15 more minutes. The thing with these little canvases, the little eight by 10 inch here, is you can cover them pretty fast. And then like 15 minutes worth, I have to stop and let it dry because I want to lay my hand on it in places while I'm doing other stuff. And if I do, I mess everything up and smear it all. So a little guy like this is more about a 15 minute session. Then you got to take a break until you get into doing really little details. How about a little more? another 15 minutes approximately and we're starting to get a little uh, details going here and it's starting to help it look less flat and now I'm going to add some details on the bumper that shows the actual shape that you can see here and maybe start highlighting the rubber bumper here so it starts taking more of a form than just a black blob uh, I'm going to do about 15 more minutes and then I'm probably going to call it off for tonight and finish it tomorrow That last one was probably about 10 minutes or so, and I'm starting to like this one. I'm starting to feel it. So I'm giving up for tonight. 
I'm going to go w watch a movie with my lovely wife. And I'll finish this tomorrow. And and then I'm, I'm just going to wait and post this whole thing tomorrow when the painting's done. So I can have this one be finished in this video. Hey, thanks for watching. And yeah, I am probably going to put an emblem on there. Even though the one on my carf has fallen off. I'll probably put one on there. Because that, that would be kind of nice looking. Yeah. Uh, uh, see you tomorrow morning. Well, I'm going to work on it a little bit more before I take off and run my errands. I'm going to try to go get the Porsche inspected by the state in an hour or two. But my phone was dead, so I'm going to go ahead and plug it in and uh, do a little more time lapse on the painting. And it seems to be doing a little better than it was yesterday. Um, I'll have to look back and see. I think I've got uh, maybe an hour into it now, maybe maybe an hour and 15, something like that. And my initial prediction was two hours. So that seems like it's going to be about right. I, I think another 45 minutes or so, and that will be good enough to say, ah, and move on to the next one. <laughs>right i think that brings us to about an hour and a half so far so i'm gonna do i think just about two more 15 minute sessions should do it i want to maybe uh, work on the shadowing a little bit and i don't know maybe i'll do a little wash over the whole car again uh, we'll see when i get started but i think uh, another half hour split into two sessions is going to be it another 15 minutes or so so I've got about an hour and 45 minutes in this and I think I'm done I'm not gonna worry about making all that all perfect it's if I wanted it to be a photograph I could print a photograph it's supposed to be a little uh, rough and more interpretive <laughs> so that's what it is I haven't varnished it yet it still has to dry but I will varnish it tomorrow and uh, I'll probably show it to you tomorrow and We'll be doing something else. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed seeing how that's done. That's how you paint your Porsche 911 in less than two hours, kind of like Bob Ross. See you, Jim. <laughs>